This is BBI Channel 1, and I welcome you on this platform where we'll tell you the truth, the way it is. Um, I want to use this opportunity to appreciate all our viewers, fans and followers all over the world, our subscribers who have been adding value to this platform too, your support, your, your comment especially. Someone made a comment which is very vital, pointing out that I've not really been complimenting and bringing on board our viewers to be part of the program. I sincerely apologize for that. It is really an oversight. And I tell you, I've taken correction to that. That's why I keep telling you, keep bringing it on. Your critics, your observation, your submission is highly needed to make us serve you better. Having said that, you know our commitment on this platform where we we'll tell you the truth the way it is without missing word. Um, and we are committed to your freedom, to the freedom of our people, holistically. Economic freedom, social freedom, political freedom and the spiritual freedom which i normally bring to you every sunday um currently the world is going through a hard time coronavirus is really ravaging the entire world the world health organization have termed it a pandemic but despite the fact that the world is really fighting this monster it has really taught humanity serious lesson, especially with respect to religious activities, specifically to Africa, more especially to Nigeria, and most importantly to my people, the Biafran people. We have been so religious, which we have always brought on this platform. And it's not that I am against the church, or I'm working against the church. No. I am here to tell you the truth about what it is to be spiritual, what it is to be godly in the real sense of it and not being exploited by some people out there. This era has really opened up the kind of worms where my people, the African people, have really been, you know, been carried away by religious bigotry, thinking they are doing God's service. It doesn't matter whether Christianity or Muslim. The truth of the matter is that coronavirus knows no boundary. It knows no race. It knows no um, religion. It knows no ethnicity. It knows no uh, class, whether you are um, of... Um, you are uh, elite or you are not a person it doesn't matter where whether you're rich or poor black or white everyone is affected the same it has brought the world to the ground zero and what am i saying here we have been experiencing what i've been calling religious bigotry and we have been so engrossed with religion without actually practicing the essence and the tennis of all the religions we have been affiliated to whether muslim or christianity today coronavirus have emptied worship centers churches in mafia metropolis to ascertain the level of compliance with the directive this is the lighthouse Covenant church in mafia due to the directive members of the church could not congregate to hold their usual service but an online option was explored Yes, the government has given us directives that uh, we should close this church. We also uh, follow the directive and uh, be a responsible organization in the, in, the, in the country. So we had to close our church in our church and also we had to send information uh, via text message and also online to our members and uh, for them to join us online for the service and by the grace of God we had an online service that was uh, uh, done today and um, we had uh, a good number of people also who joined online churches we are under lock and keys i mean cathedrals that billions we are spent to put them together marbled ac well tired very conducive environment building monuments left right and center for religious bodies and organizations whereas we have failed to actually impact on humanity itself now come to think of it today all those cathedrals and mocks are empty waiting happen 
coronavirus. Everybody now is now observing online worship, online services. Many churches, many monks have announced that you can join their religious observation through online. And I ask myself, if truly we could observe these religious services online, then what is the essence of spending millions, hundreds of millions, running into billions in erecting all these worship centers? Whereas, we did not consider the aspect of our social life that have direct impact on humanity. Talking about education, talking about health, I always mention it on this platform. My people, when I go near you, have, you don't see them. The breeze don't blow. Foul nash don't open. This religious bigotry, you have seen that it's not taking us anywhere. You can imagine if we have channeled all the billions we have built, we have used in building and constructing worship centers, whether Christian or Muslim. Imagine if we have used 20% of them to invest in education and the health sector, building hospitals, constructing world-class hospitals. Do you think that what we are passing through today we will be passing through that? I mean, in Nigeria and Africa. Would we? Today, it is a shame that they are still struggling. They are still dependent. The government is still dependent on citizens' contribution and donation to erect isolation centers and to provide medical service to battle this coronavirus. Whereas we have blown away billions in erecting worship centers that today are empty, are useless to us. I think it is high time we start reasoning. I must tell you because I have to bring it back home. And what is happening in my own town, Oko, where I come from, it is happening in your own town. It is happening in your own community. It is happening in your state. It is happening around you. You build and construct worship centers, just like this church in my village. Look at this cathedral, very beautiful. Has AC, very conducive, tired all over. If you come to church, wow. But you can only imagine what the primary school that share the same compound with this edifice. Then you cry for Africa. This is happening in my own town. Unafo, this is exactly what I'm talking about. You can see it. Right there is the church. Fully furnished with AC. Just right there. Yeah? Good. Look just behind, just there. The church, big cathedral, fully furnished. Fully furnished with AC, very conducive. Now look at where right in the same church the school take a look at this look at the kind of place where young pupils are being educated what kind of education do you think will be happening here and what kind of people do you think will be bringing their children down here you see that that's exactly what i'm talking about that's exactly the 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 the, the, the I can't connect it, you know. I can't connect the mentality of my people. Look at it. And mind you, like I said, it is not only in my village. If I have my village, I'm at myself. At least they have blocks of something. But in some towns and villages, mm, it is nothing to write home about. That is exactly what I'm talking about. You see that? You see that? This is my own town. You see the disparity. You see the disparity? You see the disconnection? Do you see why we will never develop as a people? Black race will continue to go backward. But we are hitting the reverse gear and that is what I am dedicated to do. That is what this BVI platform is dedicated to do. I have sacrificed my life for this. I've sacrificed everything I'm doing, my career pursuit, 
everything doesn't matter anymore until my homeland is fixed beginning from here charity begins at home and we talk about biafra we talk about freedom look at look at where our children is being groomed who will you blame for this government government you don't even have government in the first instance you don't have government so think without the boss it is not existing we need to self help ourselves we need to bring back the, the, the imbibed spirit of self-help. That is what Ndibu is known for. What I'm saying here is exactly what is happening everywhere. Look at it. The cathedral. Look at it. The school. And it is happening in your own town too. You can imagine if we have used most of this money to construct hospitals and schools. Hospital that can take care of what is happening today. An education that can empower and train young people that can fight coronavirus and devise means to fight some of these diseases. But no, we did not. We are busy investing in a defined or constructing monuments in the name of religious centers. from the bible i read i'm a christian he said our body is the temple of god if coronavirus can reduce cathedrals to nothing then the bible is true when it says that you don't go to meet god on the mountains on the tabernacle or on the walls to pray that those that will worship god will worship him in spirit and in truth not in cathedrals today coronavirus has redefined that portion of the Bible and I'm bringing it to you it is time it is time for us to reverse and think because our slavery is right here I call it spiritual slavery and that is why we are committed it is time you take this message to everyone out there and let our people understand it is time for us to invest in humanity because the service to humanity is service to God. And what if they can? There is nothing you can compare with it. You can't tell me that you're contributing millions to church projects. With us, you can't add value to what will add value to humanity in your community. I'm not talking about any other person's community. I know in my community we have akajiakos. We have men that has what it takes to erect first-class hospitals schools in my village same with your village especially in Ibola don't worry any village you can go to that you will not see men individuals erect some of these churches and donate it to church don't think that it's even a communal stuff individuals they are look at it they are furniture tire everything and donate it to church and you think you're serving God no you are not serving God you cannot buy your way to heaven your service to humanity is service to God. And that is the message that coronavirus is teaching all of us. You can imagine if you have contributed this morning and invested it in education to train doctors that will bring up researches that will cope some of this madness that called itself a monster of a virus, killing people all over the world. You can imagine. If we have invested in hospitals, you can imagine. These are little things that has value, that makes the world a better place, that make our homeland a better place, that will make Africa to stand out. We have everything to survive. We have everything to survive. We are the cause of our problem. It is high time we look outside the bus and think without the bus and find the solutions to our problem. That is the message. That is the message. Today, many religious bodies have announced they are doing online services. Both, both um, Christianity and um, Muslim. Everywhere is empty because of coronavirus. It is time for us to have everything. So, I want to use this opportunity to admonish you. Take this message round. Let everyone get this message. I'm not here to blaspheme or to cajole any religious body but i'm here to tell you the truth the way it is and the truth is what is going to make us free and that is why we are committed to your freedom and that is why you need to share this video you need 
to let someone out there understand the fact that we are the solution we seek. Enough of religious bigotry. It is time to serve God through service to humanity. This is BBI Channel 1. Keep subscribing, keep liking, keep sharing. Don't forget, God made it clear that those who will worship Him will worship Him in spirit and in truth and not in the cathedrals or in the mosques. It is time, Africa, to rebuild Africa. God bless you. Keep subscribing, keep liking, keep sharing. This is your home where we make our lives better. I'm signing out. Stay safe.